So without outside capital, I had to get a line of credit. So I went to the local a banker here in town, um, and I knew the president. He, it was a statewide bank. Now it's morphed into one of the big, huge banks. But um, he was the statewide uh, this, uh, community president. He was also a neighbor. He was about 10 years older. He's about 10 years older. And I'd, I'd known him growing up. And he also had an old Porsche, so ser serendipities that play here. And um, I went in, pitched him on my idea. Now, back then, this is before Dodd-Frank, you know, 35 years before Dodd-Frank. And um, back then, the bankers could, had three C's they often loaned on. And that was credit, capacity, and character. Well, I really didn't have any credit because young people back then didn't have credit cards. That came a little later. I didn't have any capacity except for my 1000 bucks and my old cars and tools. But I did have character, and he knew that. He knew me. He knew I was an honorable person. So he gave me a $25,000 line of credit. That line uh, came in the form of a letter a few days later, and I called the bank to thank him. And the receptionist said, well, he's now left our bank, and he's gone to be president of a bigger bank, local bank, which was, again, serendipity, because I think he knew he was leaving the bank, and he wouldn't have to be around to clean up Bill's loan. So <laughs> you know, there's always some luck involved. So then with that $25,000 line, I was able to go to my vendors and get a limited amount of credit from them. Uh, but the real big thing for capitalization would be internally generated capital. And I had to do that by, you know, the, I couldn't accept this more modern concept of burning cash like so many startups do today. Um, I had to focus on profitability through efficiency from day, day one. I had to focus on profitability through extreme, extreme frugality. 